Welcome to Construct Tech TV. Will a green building rise into the sky or will smart concrete make its way into your next project? Let's take a look at the top tech trends for the week. Today I'm going to discuss sustainable skyscrapers, autonomous driving on the job site, smarter construction materials, elevators and emergency evacuations, and apprentice programs. Skyscraper construction has remained relatively unchanged, that is, until now. To understand the market, let's first look to the past. This will help you better understand where we are headed. The number of buildings that exceed 656 feet have tripled since the year 2000. At the same time, environmental impact is going up and up and up. For every ton of steel produced, two tons of carbon dioxide are emitted. This equates to three billion tons of carbon dioxide each year. To solve this, we now see wood more often replacing steel. Wood is able to store carbon dioxide. This is in the case being proposed in a skyscraper in Paris. This particular building will be able to store about 3,700 tons of carbon dioxide. This is the equivalent of taking 2,207 vehicles off the road for an entire year. We are also seeing many hybrid systems emerging. This combines both timber and concrete beams. This type of system can reduce the carbon footprint by as high as 75% compared to all concrete structures. Can you build a sustainable skyscraper? I think you can, and it all starts with the materials you choose on your projects. When will autonomous equipment drive onto your job site? The answer is sooner than you think. The Colorado Department of Transportation is just one of the latest examples. It has unveiled a work zone vehicle that can drive itself. To date, there has been 26 incidences, yes, 26, where an impact protection vehicle was struck in the past four years. Even more, the state reported almost 22,000 crashes and 171 fatalities in work zones between 2000 and 2014. That's just way too many. The self-driving vehicle is designed to solve this challenge by taking the driver out of the truck. Technology mimics the position, speed, and direction of a lead vehicle that transmits a signal. This ensures the autonomous truck is always correctly positioned. The state DOT has also conducted extensive testing on the emergency stopping and obstacle detection systems. Testing also confirmed the vehicle's ability to stay in the lane and make turns. With all this research underway, autonomous trucks will be driving onto your construction job site. Way to go, Colorado DOT. Could concrete get stronger and smarter? Research is being done at the University of Calgary that could be a game changer. This is looking at the use of fiber reinforced polymers in concrete structures. The research includes the development of a corrosion-free bridge, temperature effects on the concrete, optimum design of the precast bridge systems, and so much more. What's so exciting here is that this could ensure stronger structures in the future. But this is only one example. A real-world instant comes out of Genoa, Italy. Crystalline technology was used in an urban tunnel project. The result is durable and waterproof concrete that will last for decades. It is resistant to environmental influences and it also has self-healing capabilities. Construction materials are getting smarter and remarkably, so is the infrastructure. Now let me paint a picture for you. You are on the 40th floor of a building. You hear the fire alarms. Where do you go? As construction professionals, you know the first response is not the elevator. But that is all changing. Thyssen Krupp Elevator has designed a new system that can operate during emergencies, 
and it can actually help evacuate occupants. Talk about smart, right? The elevators are built with safeguards that can protect against water, heat, and even smoke, and they can run on backup power. The elevators have quite a bit of intelligence in them, and they can prioritize evacuation by specific zones. Floors that are the farthest from the discharge level have priority. The elevator cars can even talk with passengers. It will tell them how to proceed. It will also communicate elevator status with those in the hallways. This is already in use at 181 Fremont in San Francisco. 14 of the 17 elevators have this capability. Now that's talking smarter safety. We all know our construction industry is facing a decline in our trades. The Bureau of Labor Statistics shows that the number of workers who choose union representation has declined by 19%. This means apprenticeship training programs have become increasingly limited. At the same time, federal funding for career and technical education has declined by a whopping 29% in the past eight years. However, reformation of the Perkins Act could help change all of this. The AGC is urging the Senate to take action. With the right funding, it could help increase career and technical education programs. This means more schools would have construction-focused programs. The good news here is that we are seeing a greater interest in apprenticeship programs. Take the city of Utica, New York. It is requiring all contractors to show proof of an approved apprenticeship program. We need to prepare for the onslaught of projects in the pipeline. We need both the technology and the industry to come together to help solve this challenge. Are you prepared to help? That's your tech update for today.